Hello. I've been asked uh, before how you can increase the contrast of a model just in certain uh, areas. So the process for doing this is uh, a small workflow and it utilizes the layer system inside of ZBrush. So you can see here I've got an original, um, I've got a f one sculpt of a coin shows you the relief of the coin which is essentially the demo head compressed into a coin and now I have increased the contrast of this slightly the way that I did this let's just undo all of these we'll go back to our original I'm going to delete these layers is first create a layer that you're going to make uh, all the changes in or at least in this case we're going to use this view or this layer to store the uh, increase in the height. Then we go into masking and we're going to mask by cavity. So that's going to give us immediately a difference in the height areas and in the recesses like the nasal labial fold here. Then we're going to uh, blur that and then sharpen areas of it and then maybe blur it again then we need to look at this from a side view go into move and drag out an action line pressing shift to constrain it and then I can turn view mask off and then again pressing shift click on the center white dot and push down. Okay. Let's go a little exaggerated. Great. Then I have to click the eye icon to just make sure that ZBrush has stored that. And make sure that this layer is no longer visible and create a new layer the reason why I do that is because I want each layer to behave independently of the others so now let's turn view mask on I'm going to invert this mask turn view mask off and press shift click on the center white dot and pull outwards Okay, click the eye icon just to make sure that this is stored. Let's clear our mask, get rid of our transpose line. Let's turn both of these on and dial them down. So I'm adjusting my intensity down slightly. And that is giving me a bit more contrast between the high points and the low points. Here's our original. Here's our one with increased contrast.